Okay, let's see, let's see who's connecting. Roxana, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Here, just great, just great. Ready to start the class. Let's I'm sorry. See. Ready to start the class. How are I'm you? Ready. I'm ready to. Your name is? Your full name? I can hear you okay. Su nombre completo es? Yanira Asensio. Yanira Asensio. Let me check it out. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Yes. Right? Okay, cool. Because we here, we need to have it like complete. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Hello, Janira. Tell me. Oh, finally, you can fix your camera. Yes. <laughs> I have Hello. a camera. Nice to meet you, Janira. Nice to meet you too, teacher. We are finally meeting each other. <laughs> yes. Okay, and tell me, tell me a little bit about your day. How was your day, Miss? Well, was was fine. Um I have a some problem with the user, but I came to resolve the issues. I could, I could resolve the issues. I could resolve the issues. Yes. Well, I, actually, you can say I could solve them because you have you have said troubles before. You can just say I could solve them. I could solve them. Solve them. Let me text the sentence for you. Please, please. I could, remember, could. In this case, remember, whenever we have a LD, could, should, would, the L doesn't sound, okay? Okay. And that is the could solve them. Yes, I could solve them. Okay, that's okay. great, that's nice. So, uh, what about your job? Uh, well, I called to a, a co-worker for solve uh, a problem. So I, you're, you're working from your house? Yes, I work in, in my house. I work from my house. I work from my house. Okay, and tell me, what do you do? What do you exactly do? I am an um, analyst programmer. Oh, really? Yes. Mm, like like nice. Marta Anabelinda too. Oh, really? It's another person in the in the room. We are a analyst analyst programmer. Um, we resolve the problem in the um, ERP. is a program that used for all company. For example, uh, hosting, sales, uh, purchasing, management, um, customer service, Oh, really? Yes. So you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes, we are. Well, 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 interesting. Thank you, and nice talking to you. Welcome to the class, Yanira. Thank you. Marta, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. 
How are you in this lovely night? It's very well. Okay. And you? And I'm just great, just great. Tell me, how was your day, Marta? Uh, we have a nice day. Okay. I am ready what? to, I am ready to the class. For the class? For the class. Okay, what did you do today? Tell me. Uh, uh, my day is for many case, um, technical support. Okay. So you were working in tech support? Yes. Okay, remember, in English you can say tech support, that's okay. Tech support, okay. That's nice. That's nice being in tech support. So that means that you have to deal with people, help them out. Yes, every day is different. Yeah, I can imagine it. Every person has a different problem. Yes. Okay. The report good. is different every day. That's interesting. We don't have a same day. Every day is different. Okay. Let me see. Oops. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just that some co-workers are reporting problems with Zoom. Zoom is giving problems. That happens. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well. Welcome to the class, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello. Perhaps I cannot hear you. Well, let's see, let's see who else is here. Silvia, Silvia Vendaño, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you, Silvia? Good, good. I'm just leaving work, so I'm going to my house right now. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice, that's nice. Yes. Excellent. So nice. soon you are going to be like really, really into the class. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, teacher. Great, let's see who else is around. Fernando, hello, Fernando. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can problem with my connection. It's very slow. Okay, okay, yeah. Internet is giving problems and the rain is affecting in some parts. Yeah, uh, here it's not rain, but... Oh, really? But soon. Soon it will be. It's most soon probably. It will be. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the class, Fernando. Thank you. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm fine, and what about you? I'm just fine, just great. Tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Well, it's a good day in my job. Okay. I'm happy. Oh, really? Yes. What did you do? Tell me. Well, I am a seller and I... I sold? Sold? Maybe. I sold um, an insurance. Insurance. Insurance, sorry. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. Yes. That's yes. really nice. Yeah. Yeah, my my sister works in your area, actually. Really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she works in that area. And, uh, oh, she works for a company. I don't even know the name of the company. That's fun. But yeah, she, she tell me it's an interesting job. 
I can hear you. She tells me it is an interesting job. No entiendo, sorry. Okay, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Who else? Fausto, hello, Fausto. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. And tell me, how was your day? Um, hey. Heavy day? Yeah. Okay. What did you do today, mister? Um, uh, uh, prepare orders. Okay. A uh, lot of orders. Okay. You prepare orders. What else did you do? Uh, and check. And check and um, pick up uh, como se dice al perdón a uh, el transporte de, de, de envío o, o el microbús the delivery yes okay that the delivery oh, yes, that's teacher. interesting so you had a busy day today what? You had a busy day. Tuvo un día ocupado. Yes, teacher. Okay, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, um, welcome to the class, mister. Thank Carla you, Marielos. Hello, how are you, Carla? Hello, teacher. I am fine. That's great, that's great. And tell me, Carla, how was your day? And good, a uh, little tired. Oh, really? A little bit tired? Yes. And what time did you get home today? Repeat, please, for. What time did you get home today? What time, a qué hora, did you get home? At 7 p.m. At 7 p.m.? Oh, that's a few minutes ago. It's eight, one hour ago. Para una hora. Right? Sí. Okay, so... It was heavy. What about traffic, Carla? How was traffic today? Tell me. Very traffic. A lot of traffic? A lot of traffic. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around. Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Actually, I'm tired because I really? was working late. Until what time did you work today? In fact, I turned off the computer in maybe 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm working in remote at home. Okay. You can say it like this. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I just turned off my computer like this. Look. Okay. As a matter of fact, I just turned off my computer. Well, welcome to the class. Thank it was you. a long day for you. Okay. Take a deep breath and relax. We are going to have fun here, okay? Let's see, Elvia. Hello, Elvia, how are you? Hello, teacher. 
Tell me, Elvia, how was your day? I fine. Did you have a good day, a bad day? What? It, it's raining, right? Yes. Yeah, I can Rain. tell, I can tell. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Relax. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, welcome to everybody. And today we're going to start working and let's see we have a lot to cover today we are going to be working on well we're going to talk again about manufacturing about products and we are going to talk about buying and selling products that's going to be very interesting okay we are also going to talk about uh imperatives what are imperatives and you are going to use the imperatives because we are going to do exercises of conversation. We are going to create conversations using the imperatives. So it's going to be fun. Don't worry. It's going, we are going to do, be doing many activities. But let's start with, uh, let me see, I need to get the attendance before anything else. Let's see. Ambar Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Here. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Oh, here. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvia. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Costa Acosta Barrera. Okay. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Thank you, Rita. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Oh, present teacher. Oh, there's Sandra. I'm sorry, Sandra. Great, great. Excellent. Well, let's see. Shopping. Do you like shopping, guys? Let's start with the ladies. Roxana, tell me, do you like shopping? Yeah, Roxana, well, like, yeah, sure, I do. Yes, I love shopping because I don't have oh. enough money. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's normal. And tell me, what do you like to shop for? What, what is it when you go shopping? What is the product that you always are more interested in? Clothes or food. Clothes. Okay, clothing. Clothing is very important for you. Excellent. Just let me, okay. And tell me, Roxana, from all the clothes, what is the, 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 from the products that you buy, tell me, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? Maybe the price, because if, if the thing is, is so expensive, maybe I don't have enough money to, to buy. 
So the first uh, for me is, is watching the, is, I don't know, uh, watching or seeing the price. Actually it's checking. In this checking. case it's checking, checking out, checking out the price. Checking out the price and maybe uh, I check in if um, in the moment I have a pro promotion offer if, or discount. If they, are, if they are on sale. On sale. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, perfect. And tell me, when you get a product for choosing, for choosing a product, okay? Now you have checked that you have the money, that you can afford it. You know that you can afford it. Usted puede permitírselo. Afford it. Now that you can afford it, tell me, what is the most important thing for you? The use, because if I need, for example, if I need to buy something or, I don't know, it's, it's important to me if, it's really um, functional okay. to my um, interesting or, or necessities. Okay, to my needs, to my needs. Excellent, wow, that's cool. Thank you very much, Roxana. Okay, okay guys, did you see what we just do? Hey, Wilfredo, Mr. Wilfredo Guardado, please, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera, say present. Hi, teacher, present. Thank you. And welcome to the class. Let's see. Let's Thank see. You. Let's see. Hey, I got somebody else. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's continue. Now, did you check out those two questions that I just asked? The first one is this. What is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? Check it out in the, in the chat. And then look at this other question. What is the most important thing for you? Okay. Can you see them in the chat? La pueden ver en el chat? In the Zoom chat? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? And what is the most important thing for you? Okay, Roxana and me, we just did the exercise. But now you are going to do it. We are going to do it working in pairs, okay? I need you to ask each other those two questions and write the answer because i am going to ask you about not you about your partner okay so you need to take notes about what your partner answers okay you ready so let's see let me divide you in groups there you go groups are created Please jump in. You got three minutes for this activity. It's just two questions. Edward, you need to go to a group. Perfect. Let's go check on the groups. La pregunta dice, what the first thing you pay attention 
to when buying a product. Repeat me, please, Fausto. Uh, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? For you, and you, you, you tell me about your experience when you, when you pay, when you're buying a product. In this case, I, I'm, I'm, I asked to Elvia, what is the first thing you pay attention to when you're buying a product? Is the quality product? Quality. And check the price. Because what? the price. Ah, the price. The first thing. Yes, the price. The price. Okay. Because it's important for me and the most important thing for me is the price too. <laughs> Okay, the price is uh, the first thing. The first thing is the price. Yes. And then? And then, well. The most important thing. The presentation of product. Mm -hmm. The quality too. Yes. Yes. The quality. And being okay. And the most important thing for me is the quality. Yes. The presentation and quality. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, for me, the the first thing is uh, the the color or the style the style the appearance of the of the product like if i want to buy a pair of shoes the first thing that i uh, the first thing that i um, that i pay attention to is the style of the shoes and yes. then the Mm, the size. Hey, Walter, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Good look, que se vea bien. Que sea llamativo, pero no sé cómo se llama. Es que se vea. Fabulous. I, I don't know. Fabulous. 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 Oh, bueno, es llamativo. How do you say? Oh, que me no. llame la atención. How do you say? Uh -huh. hmm, China. Well, it depends what aspects attract you. Depende qué aspectos son los que atraen. Maybe if the product is attractive. 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 Yes. Yeah, because I mean, if you say llamativo, mm, that would be flashy. And flashy is, is different when you say it like this flashy. It's like, okay, it's llamativo, but not necessarily in a good way. Attractive, a uh, good price. Attractive for me. Maybe. Attractive for me. Uh, yeah, and a good, good price. And good price. Yeah, sure. And the second, what is the most important thing for you? Uh, the more important. And in, in, in another, in another thing. 
Okay, color size. And what more? Get. For the presentation, you, uh -huh. you review the color size and another, what's another team? The price. The price, okay. Maybe for me, the most important is the opinion of uh, any, any else. Uh, I review the photos, I review the blogs um, about this product. For example, when I buy my cell phone, I check the website and I read the blog for for another uh, comment to the another people if in this blog say that this product is good and i rev and, and i view uh and i watch a video uh about this product and then if i like i buy I love the technology. Um, in your opinion, the price is the most important or the quality or the brand? For me, the most important is, is the um, performance. For example, uh, when, I, when I check for a cell phone or a handset or a a keyboard or a mouse, I, I look in. Finish guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Just let me check the other groups and I will tell them that we just have 60 seconds. Some of them are, are very excited with the exercise. Okay, okay. Let's see, we are just waiting for everybody to come back, so be a little bit patient. Hello, Edward Ademir. Hello, good evening. Ed Edward Ademir Noyola Brito, say present, please. Present, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I need to have you on record. Mr. Carlos Murillo, say present, please. Okay, we didn't hear you, Carlos. Pres present teacher, so yes. Thank you. I, I... <laughs> thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Okay, Roxana, tell me, who were you working with? Who was your partner? Marta Morales. Okay, tell me about Marta Morales' habits when shopping. She said that it's important uh, the product must be attractive for she. For her. For her, sorry. And the second is um, if the product is functionality, quality, and guarantee. And the good, warranty. Cute. Warranty. 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 Okay. And if the product is good, cute, and cheap. Okay. Bueno, That's cool. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. It's pretty good, pretty good. 
Let's see, let's see, who else, who else, who else? Carlos Murillo, tell me, who were you working with? Okay, I'm, I'm I speak with, with uh, Edward and Elvia. Okay, tell me about Edward. Okay, Edward, when he, he, he buy an, Buys? any product, um, yes. he use he usually compare the price. Okay, the first cool. one, the first one, uh, he compare the price, and next he usually compare the size for for price. For for example, if if he, if he buy a um, cereal, for example, he compare the content when in the in this package and another package. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I I ask. You, he's, uh, he's very uh, he's very meticulous yes <laughs> that's nice that's i mean that's a smart buying right yes that's a smart excellent thank you very well it's posed carlos uh, oh before i forget roxana the past of the verb say the verb say is in say. present in past you say it like this said Said. Said. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Like when you want water. Okay. Said. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Edward, tell me. Tell me about. Let's see. Who was the lady? Elvia, right? Okay. Uh, in, the case, Elvia. in the case of Elvia, uh, she, when buying a product, um, she she uh, look the expedition date okay yeah that's cool yeah the expiration date is very date. important it's yeah. very important yes otherwise we get sick interesting thank you very much janira tell me who was your partner maria alejandra okay tell me about maria alejandra's habits she likes to buy shoes. When okay. She, uh, she likes the, she likes buying shoes. Okay, she likes buying shoes. When she buy a uh, shoes, she te, she pay attention in brand and okay. quality. If the quality is good, she say doesn't matter the price. Okay. <laughs> and durability. The quality. If yes. quality is up to what is high, want. doesn't matter the price. Okay, and, that's cool. And durability is important the, uh, too. Okay. And the, the most important thing for she is review for in her, the for her, for her, for her, for her, is review in social media uh, the, present, the presentation color, size, and another thing. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very well done. So, Maria, tell me how many pairs of shoes do you have? I can hear you very well. How many pairs of shoes do you have? I have um, approx approximately. Approximately? Uh, approximately uh, 20 pair of shoes. <laughs> okay, 20 pair of shoes. Cool. Yeah. You must be single. <laughs> Debe ser soltera. Okay, Maria, tell me about like. Yanira's. Tell me about Yanira's, please. Um, uh, uh, at Yanira, she's like buying a lot of Five the technology product, for example, headphones or headsets. Okay. Uh, and the most important thing for um, for she is for her, the opinion or for her their opinion and the different comments in the photos or page and internet and read the comment that other people uh, review for the product 
And the most important is the specific specification. And she has decided she buy or no? If she buy them or not. If she buy them or no. If, if means sí, pero de condición, ¿ok? Cuando expresamos una condición, we use if, ¿ok? If, ok. Now, let's see, Mr. Fernando González, tell me. Uh, my partner is Rita. Ok, tell me about Rita. Ah, uh, and Walter. Ok, Rita, uh, she... She loves the coffee. Okay, and, me too. And clothes. When when she buy a, a product in the state, coffee or shoe or, or clothes, sorry. Uh, the first thing they pay attention is the price. And she think about if the product like her. Okay, if she likes the product. If she liked the product. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando. Exactly to the point. Excellent. Rita, tell me about Fernando. Uh, Fernando, the few things, uh, no, the most important things for him, it's the fruit and water. And okay. the first things he pay attention to when buying a product, he asked himself, I need a... Uh, do I need? Do I need the product? Do I need the product? And he... And, and I really use. Use. Will I really use it? Use it. Okay. Oh, that's a question. It's like this. Will I really you see like this perfect interesting now let's see let's see uh where was teacher, i teacher, walter me, walter me, tell me uh i cannot say uh and me ¿Puedo decir yes, las yes please because you get late to the group. Grupo ya cuando... oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Tell me about okay. yourself. What is the first? What is the first? Did you pay attention to when buying a product? Uh, a product uh, quality okay. and warranty. Excellent. Uh, what, what is the most important thing for you? Uh, that a life. Is the you like the product? Yeah, uh, sure. Good presentation. Like the product. Uh, good uh, presentation. Um, how do you say preferible? Mm. Tell me the sentence. Dígame la oración. Uh, what do you say? Preferible? Preferible? Mm. Por eso, dígame dice, la oración. En... Mm. Ah, Necesitaría. Oh. A preference Necesitaría. o algo así. No, because uh, preferible is preferable. Preferable. Ah, uh, preferable. Okay, thank you, teacher. And the product is for choose. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Walter. Excellent. Now let's see, okay, let's teacher. see where was I? Where was I? You move my screen, guys. Every time you choose, you change. Let's see who am I missing? Wilfredo, Wilfredo, you haven't participated. Please tell me. Activate your microphone, please. Yeah, right now. Uh, we have trouble with with my coworker, but she told me in the, the first question, teacher. Okay. Uh, she told me that uh, it's more important the price and uh, what use uh, she's going to to how we to do. with product to do okay and the uh, second question uh, she told me that the most important theme for her it is uh, how all needs 
in her house uh, talking about um, food or meal and pay some bills or a county bank. Okay, bank account. Bank account. Yes. Well, okay. thank you very much. Welcome. Excellent. Ambar, please. Okay, my partner is Silvia. When she goes okay. to the store, the first thing she looks is a style of shoes. And the most important thing for her is the quality and size. Perfect. Excellent. Also. Oh, hi, teacher. Uh, my partner is Francisco and Carla. Okay. Tell me about Carla. Okay. Carla uh, in the first questions. Uh, uh, the first thing is check the price and quality. E, um, the questions, uh, the most important thing for Carla is the quality of the product. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done. Also, now let's see, let's see, let's see. You keep on moving. Sandra Beatriz, please. Okay, teacher, um, first question, and the most important is price on size. And two, two questions, and bales need for my house. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, Carla, please. Tell me about Francisco, Carla. And first question, um, Francisco, quality and price. Okay. Second question. Quality. Yes. Important for Francis, quality the product. Okay, the warranty of the product. Perfect, thank you very much, Carla. Now, let's see, let's see. Francisco, please tell me about um, Fausto, right? Fausto was in that group. Okay, teacher, uh, uh, for Fausto, the most important is uh, quality and price. Uh, teacher, how do you say uh, relación calidad-precio? The relation, the relationship between quality and price okay the quality okay actually you say it like this the quality price relationship the quality price relationship okay yes and the the second question and the most important uh, is quality uh, warranty uh, of the product perfect thank you very much marta navalinda please Hi, my partner is Roxana. Okay, she tell me if she first told attention, me. She told she me. Told me if first attention when buy a product is the price. And okay. she need compare the price and many store. Yeah, uh, the most important for her is uh, the offer. Um, um, if she needs problem. Okay. The offer. Oh, you mean uh, if something is in sale? Perfect, guys. Very well done. I think I did everybody, right? No? Me, teacher. Oh, please. Selby, I'm so my, sorry. My, <laughs> my partner is Carlos Murillo. Okay, tell me about him. He, he buy, uh, check the price, and usually compare the quality of other products. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much, Elvia. 
Now, let's see, guys. Well, it was a good activity, and I liked it because you were expressing yourself. I was checking out the groups, and you were using English in order to explain to your partners, and that's excellent. Now, we are going to go to the manual, okay? We are working the manual in page number 13, okay? Page number 13, exercise number two, it's a conversation, and we are going to do the conversation. Let me share with you guys. Okay, here we go. We have the conversation, and let me take a picture of it so you can like uh, see it. The conversation starts like this. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push, push this red button. Okay. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. I repeat. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Wow, it's going to be fun. Okay, guys, it's going to be long, so you will have to choose who's going to do which part. Let me check on something, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to recreate the groups right now. So you're going to be working in pairs, okay? Please, let's jump in. You are going to have four minutes for this activity. Hurry up. Practice the conversation. Okay, solo voy a solo voy a buscarla en la captura. Okay. Aquí está. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at 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 the plant. Creo que es. Ay, ay, ¿qué dice Mr. Mills? Sí, está okay, bien. Okay, voy a, voy a. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what, what you most do, do most. in the most do in the product line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge to shopping 
the conveyor belt. Please push this red bottom. Amber, you are left alone. I don't have a partner. Don't worry, this is group number two. Right now I'm assigning one for you. Okay. I don't know what happened to Walter because he was assigned, but perhaps he couldn't connect. Uh, okay. I'm practicing alone. There's, there's Wilfredo, there's Wilfredo. Wilfredo will practice with you. Ah, okay. We have a pair tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read the share and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in the shirt. Dear, dear, play the defective uh, chocolate in this funnel. Finally, I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. In this funnel, finally, uh, fill in a report at the end of the day about the detected piece. Uh, defective piece. I'm sorry. Okay. Repeat again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, you start on. I am start. You. You. Ah, yeah. Me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. And I am going to explain what do you must do on the product line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are of the day above filling a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, yes. Now it's my turn. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ronald. This is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay. Okay, now's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the spe specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, good. Um... It's almost time Defective, to finish Carlos. the activity. Defective. 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 Perfect. Okay. Defective. My name is Ms. Nunes. And I'm going to explain on the news production line. Nice to meet you, Nunes. Where did you start? Did you Okay, let's see. We're just waiting for everybody to come back. 
Vamos a esperar que todo relaxen. Let's see, let's see, where's everybody? They still got 10 seconds, they're coming soon. Okay, here they come. Let's see, let's see who's going to start. Okay. Roxana Asensio and Sandra Beatriz, please. Let's do it. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first date at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must to do in the product line. In the production line. Sandra Beatriz, the microphone. Never mind. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, Roxana. Walter is going to help you. Walter, can you help her? Excuse me, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> oh, there she comes. There she comes. Don't worry, Walter. You go for the end. Okay, <laughs> let's start again, Roxana. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first date at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must to do in a product production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stones and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this charge and check every piece. Make sure each each meets the specification in the chart in this charge. Third, place the detective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defect defective pieces. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Funnel is a uh, embudo, okay? Okay. And conveyor belt is the cinta transportadora, okay? Thank you. Because that, that's a little bit technical. Okay, let's see. Well done, very well done. Let's see, it's next. Good. Yes, it's Mr. Sure. Uh, you repeat uh, what it uh, mean a uh, conveyor belt cinta transportadora o banda transportadora thanks teacher you're welcome mister la del okay, heiskan se llama conveyor okay, okay okay let's see ambar and wilfredo okay may i start ambar yes one moment please Okay. Tell me when are you ready? Ah, me está fallando ahorita. No, no tengo acceso al. What do you need? The, the, the screen? Sí, es que lo tenía en el otro teléfono, pero ahorita no tengo acceso. Me está fallando. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the, at the plant. My name is Mr. Guardado, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Guardado. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, Grain a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in the chart. 
Theater, placed at the tip, defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, filling a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, everything perfect. Just remember, mister, at the end, at the end, okay? Of the, of the day, okay? At the end, look. At the day of the, the end. end. of the day. In this case, at the end, the end, at the end of the, okay. Of the day. Remember, esta palabra okay. antes de vocal, B. Before a consonant, the or da. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Uh, what does it mean, funnel? Embudo. Embudo, okay. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else now? Fausto and Marta, please. I start, Marta. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez. And I'm going to explain what you must uh, do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, uh, you are in share. Uh, of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece uh, of chocolate. Read the chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets uh, the specification in the chart. Third, uh, place the defective chocolate in the in this funnel, and finally, filling a report on the, on the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, perfect. Defective. Come back. Defective. Defective. Okay. okay. Yes. Carlos Murillo and Silvia, please. Hey, teacher. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must to do in production line. Sylvia, we cannot hear you. Hello. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Could you repeat hey. that, please? Please. Okay. I'm sorry, Hello. I'm having dinner now. Don't worry. Hello, my Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of, 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 of stopping the con conveyor belt. Please. Push this red button. Second, grab a pair of, tongue, of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meet the spe specifications in the chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Defective, defective. Defective, okay. Defect. Perfect, very well done. Francisco and Carla Marielos. Sure, okay. I start. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must Doing the production line. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Nunez. Where do we start? 
First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meet the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. Defective, defective. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Good. Yes, thank you, Mister Edward and Elvia, please. Hello, Hello Miss Elvia. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Edward. I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Edward. Where do we start? First, you are in, in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pile of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every page. Make sure each meet the specification in this chart. Still, please the effective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling a report at the end of the, of the day about the defective paste. Okay, remember, Mr. Edward, please read defective pieces. Defective pieces. It's giving you problems that word. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. Maria Alejandra and Janira Elizabeth. Hello, Mr. Rora. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what the most do in the in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the push this red red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meet the specification in this chart. Cheer. Place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, fill in a report, a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, very well done. Just remember, report, report, Janita. Report. Like that, perfect. So let's see, Roxana, I need you to help. Uh, well, let's see who hasn't participated. ¿Quién no me ha participado? Who's missing? Me falta alguien. Okay. Rita. Rita, and Fernando, teacher, and Walter. Teacher. Okay, Rita and Fernando. Don't worry, Walter. I keep you in mind. Rita and Fernando. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the club. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check very, every piece. Make sure each meet the specification in the chart. Third, place the defect defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill and report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Fill in, fill in a report, okay? Fill in a report, okay. No, listen, listen, listen. Fill in, fill in, fill in, fill, fill in, okay? 
fill in a report, fill in a report. If you say feeling, that means sintiendo. Uh, in this case, it's different. Listen again. Fill in, fill in. Okay. Fill in. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now, Roxana, you are going to help Walter. So you are going to start, please, Roxana. You start. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Uh, nice day, Nunez. Where do I start? Uh, if you are the chance to stop in the conveyor belt, please push the read button the second. Uh, Brand a pair of toast and repeat every piece of chocolate and write this chart and check every piece. Make sure it makes the specification in the chat. Do you place the defective chocolate in this final, final line? Fill in our report and the end of the date about the defective piece. Okay, for now. Funnel, funnel, okay. funnel, defective, funnel. defective, defective pieces. Defective. Okay, guys. Defective. Thanks for your patience. I know it's been long, but I needed to hear everybody pronouncing. Please, I need to get the attendance again. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Yeah. Ok. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaver de López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Excellent, excellent. Let's continue. Well, today we are going to talk about something else. We have also to cover a little bit of grammar. This is the grammar section. We are going to talk about imperatives. Imperatives are something very, very simple and very, very easy. Let's see, let me share with you something that I have prepared for you. Oh, I already sent you this, is the presentation I sent you as a PDF, okay? That's what I'm going to show right now. Lo que les voy a mostrar ahorita es la presentación, el PDF que les envié hoy antes de la clase, okay? Okay, let's see, guys. Okay, here we go. Imperatives. The imperative is used to give commands in order, okay? Like, open the door, clean your shoes, sit down. Those are orders, right? Or commands. 
Now, they are also used to make suggestions when we use let's plus the main verb. That means when before the main verb, we use the word let's, like let's run, let's go to the beach, let's take a picture. In this case, the imperative is used to express a suggestion, okay? A command or an order can be look at the bird, point to everywhere, pick up the trash, clean those windows. Those are commands, those are orders. Now, let's see. An imperative sentence is used to give a command or order. An imperative normally misses a subject. This is very important. Look, in this case, we do not have a subject. Interesting, right? Though all other parts of the sentence are present. Even though, a pesar que, all other parts of the sentence are present, in this case, we do not have a subject. No tenemos sujeto. The verb is identical to a second person, present tense form, without endings of any kind. Okay? This is very important. The verb is identical to a second person, present tense form, without endings of any kind. Okay? With negative imperatives, the auxiliary do is used, as in don't drink the water. There are no different tense forms of imperatives, okay? They are always in present, all the time. Now, let's continue. We use them to give advice, to give instructions, an invitation, an order, a request, una petición, an offer, a warning, advertencia, directions, informal requests, or to give suggestions. Okay? How do we form it? Infinitive without two. In the affirmative. Okay, like open your book, be quiet. You see, there is no subject and there is not the word to. Open your book, be quiet. In the negative, for the negative, we use do not or the contraction don't plus the infinitive without to. The long form will be do not open your book. Contractor, don't open your book. Do not be quiet. Don't be quiet. We use the root form of the verb to create the imperative. Eat a balanced diet. Give me that book. Clean your room. Don't touch that. The word you usually does not appear before the imperative. The reader or the listener understands that you is implied. Okay? It is not said or written, but it is understood. Again, listen. It is not said or written, but it is understood. That means that in all this is you eat a balanced diet. You give me that book. You clean your room. You don't touch that. But we don't say it. We just understand that it's there. No lo decimos. Ya entendemos que es. Eat a balanced diet. Give me that book. Clean your room. Don't touch that. You can use please to be more polite. Podemos usar el please para ser más polite. Don't make so much noise, please. This please can be here at the beginning. El please puede ir al beginning. But can, it needs to be separated by a comma. Okay? Please, don't make so much noise. Okay, the exercises that appear here, you will do them on your own, okay? The exercises are for you to do them on your own. Los ejercicios que aparecen ahí es para que los hagan en su tiempo, okay? Now, 
Let me explain again. Imperatives, as I told you, are a very interesting sentences because the imperatives actually uh, are ordered. But whenever you are speaking, reading, writing in English, they always tell you, okay, there must be a subject all the time. I'm sorry, I will explain something in Spanish just for a second. Solo voy a explicar una cosita en español por un minuto. Siempre nos han dicho que vamos a poner un sujeto, ¿verdad? En las oraciones en inglés. Imperatives are the exception. Son la única excepción. ¿Ok? The subject is there, actually, is you. El sujeto está ahí, y es you. But you do not say it. You just understand it. No lo decimos, solo entendemos que ahí está. ¿Ok? When you make a suggestion, you use the word let's before. Cuando vamos a hacer una sugerencia, le ponemos a let's before. Like, let's, oh, I use it. Yo lo uso. Let's jump in. When I invite you to get into the, into the groups, right? Cuando le doy la invitación de entrar a los grupos, le digo, let's jump in. Actually, that's an indication, right? It's a command that I'm giving you. But, as I want to make it as a suggestion, como quiero hacerlo como una sugerencia, I use let's. If I want to make it more polite, I use please. Get into the breakout rooms. Get into the breakout rooms, please. Now, these sentences all the time start with the verb. Siempre inician con el verbo. The verb, like in the basic form. Okay? El verbo está en su forma, in the base form, I'm sorry, en su forma base. That means no es, no hay ing, nothing. No lleva s, no lleva ing, nada. The base form, okay, it's a command, right? Es una orden. So, the base form, open your book, turn on your microphone, turn off your camera, turn on your camera. Don't. Turn on your camera. Don't turn off your camera. Okay? Ahora, in negatives can be a warning. También pueden ser a warning. Mostly in negatives. Like if you have kids and, the, and you have something on the stove. Imagínate que usted tiene chicos y hay algo en la cocina. You tell the kids, don't touch that. Right? No, porque es eso. You start with the auxiliary for the simple present because in simple present for negative sentences we use the auxiliary do, okay? And as the subject in this case is you, we do not use does. Aquí no usamos el does. Just do in negative. Do not, okay? Any question up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? Am I clear? So, so? So, so. Okay, cool. Look, it's the same as when you give instructions or when you are like, a, oh, when you are following a receipt. Imagínese que está siguiendo una receta. Okay. Have you seen receipts? Ya hemos visto recetas para preparar algo. Yeah, okay. They start like, add this, mix that. Comienzan con agregue, mezcle, bata, hierba, right? They start like that all the time. The verb, instructions. We use the imperative to give instructions. Lo usamos para instrucciones. Okay? Like, let's see. Carlos, tell me. Imagine, Carlos, that I am, I am going to cover your position. In your company. Carlos, yo voy a cubrir su posición en su compañía. Please, tell me, which steps do I have to follow? What do I have to do? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Okay. First, you have to, to be sure to, to, to make, to be sure, make a report in the and the at before at the deadline and okay just you in this please, case 
forget about you. Olvídese del you. Just give me the command. Okay. Okay. Now, let's. Sorry. I, I, I think it's a um, Okay. Don't worry. Think about it because you're going to do it. Don't worry. I'll give you time. Okay. I'll give you time. Okay. What are we going to do right now? Did you see the exercise I was trying to do with him? You are going to do it. You are going to give instructions to one of your classmates. Me le van a dar instrucciones a uno de sus compañeros. Imagine that that person is new in the company. You are training that person. You are in charge of that person. Okay? Tell that person what are his or her obligations. Using commands. Díganme a esa persona cuáles son sus obligaciones. Using the commands. Okay? You understand that? You understand the activity? Entendemos la actividad? So, think. Think fast. While I create the groups, yes. be thinking. Pensemos, pensemos, porque estoy creando los grupos. Okay, let's see. Groups are created, guys. Please, let's jump in. Let's see, Linda, did you get into the group? Hello, teacher. Hello, they left you alone? Yes, I am alone. I, I'm alone. Okay, I don't know why Linda is not here, but I'm going to move you, la voy a mover, okay? Okay, don't worry, I have uh my imperative sentence, tenses. Perfect. But the idea is that you share with your classmates, okay? So, yes. I'm going to send you to, let's see, which group, which group, which group I'm going to send you. Uh -huh. Okay, I know. Here you go. Algo yes, así. they start yes, with teacher. a verb. Inician con el verbo. Uh, 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 example, teach class. Okay. Prepare, plan your classes. Prepare, okay. And plan your classes. Prepare a material. Material. Material, thank you. And... Okay. Take care of kids in break time. Cuide los niños en receso. What? Take care, take care of kids during break time. I'll guess. Yes. Take care. Okay. And my words and your words, yes? Only and you. Okay. In my case. Before you um I think it's, um how do you say ingresar teacher? What do you mean? Uh if if uh ingresar o sea in, entrar a un a un lugar, a una oficina, por ejemplo. Come on, come on. Uh, 
Ingres. Come in. Mm -hmm. Come in. Get in or check in. Okay. Check in. Check in. Okay. Uh, mm, before you check in and at the office, you can do you uh, no do not before before checking the, the office clean your shoes um, wash your, your wash your hand and clean your issue. excuse me clean your clean your shoes 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 okay shoes clean your shoes and wash the hand your hands. And be sure you make a, you, you wear a face mask. Put, put the mask. No, wear, wear. Wear, wear is this better? Wear. Wear. wear the mask. Wear the mask. Okay. Then um, you you then check your check your email and call and uh, uh, we should call a uh, and client. Ah. Uh. Um, what's the meaning? Los clientes. Call, 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 call Customer. Client. Customer. Client. Well, no, Client. it depends. It depends. It depends. It's just that uh, customer is alguien que... How can I make the difference? Okay. Externo la compañía. No, 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 no. It's just that you have clients and you have customers. Okay. okay, and there's a slight difference between them. Y hay una pequeña diferencia entre ellos. Okay, because when you say uh, when you say a customer, how can I explain? Okay, a client is is one who wants professional support or a service from a company. Okay. Whereas a customer is when you are talking about somebody who purchases products or services. The customer is el que compra un producto o un servicio. But a client is one who wants professional support. O sea que la relación de un client, es, the client commits. The client se compromete a una relación más larga. Okay? That may or may not end after the first purchase. I mean, usted le vende algo al client, pero esa relación puede ser que continúe aparte de una primera compra. Okay? But when you are a customer, you just go, buy your stuff, leave, and that's it. Pero si usted es un customer, usted va, compra el servicio, compra el producto y se va. Sí. It's more informal, the, the relationship. It's like when you go buy a hamburger, you're a customer, right? Okay. Yes. But here, in this case, you are, okay, you are students, but you are also clients. We have a relationship longer than just this class, right? You get the difference? Yes. Okay. I got it. Perfect. In your case, in your case, is client. You I'm must. sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Ambar. Uh, can I call on you for the end of the class? ¿Cuánto con usted para el final de la clase? I have ten minutes for you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. You finish. Yes. Okay, perfect. Because we're going back to the main room in 60 seconds. Okay. Um...
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. We are just waiting for everybody to come back. Vamos a esperar que vuelvan. Okay. No sé por qué escucho un sonido cuando usted me abre el micrófono. Un tic, 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 tic. Ah, es el ventilador. Oh, that's why. Del, te del techo y, y hace un poquito de ruido. Bueno, va a estar okay. That's why. I was yes. like, what's that? Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Let's see, who are we going to start with? ¿Con quién vamos a comenzar? Okay. Silvia, you start. Please give me the commands. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, give me the commands. I'm going to cover for okay. you. So tell me. Uh, turn on the computer. Okay. Make a list of the clients who are coming. Perfect. Contact the clients and send them the information requested. Ask. They asked the clients to fill in the check-in information. Turn on, uh, open the email. Okay. Re reply every email. Perfect. And reply all the messenger messages. Okay, you are too strict. I just quit. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, Sylvia. The requested information, okay? Not the information requested, the requested information. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Next, 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 next. Janira, your turn. Okay. Check the ITOP. ITOP is a platform, uh, web platform. For platform, platform, platform for uh, make cases. Okay. Resolve the cases, execute five queries, stop the window task, delete the batch in GP, run the windows task, delete rows in the intermediate table, start the window task. Okay, that's complex. <laughs> it's a technical term. Technical. Technical terms. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Francisco Eduardo, your turn. Tell me. Hey, teacher. Um, check the product. Order the product. Make a list the product. Attend the customer. Uh, do not use the cell phone. Ooh. Okay, perfect. A list of the product. A list of the product. A list, okay. list of the product. Okay, did you? Perfect. Excellent. Well, actually, you can also say just list the products because list can also be a verb. La palabra list también puede ser un verbo, so you can just say, oh, List the products. Okay. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Ambar. Okay. Uh, first, check your hotspot. It's like a CRM. And later, contact your clients. And after that, um, prepare your report of your sales. Okay. Prepare the reports of your sales. Excellent. Yes. Um, only that. <laughs> only that? Great, great. Okay, guys. Just give me a second. Give me a second, something is messing up and I just know what it is. Denme un segundo que algo me molesta el monitor. 
y ya lo identifica yo soy mena Okay, I'm back. I am so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. I was wondering, I thought my monitor was wrong. Pensé que tenía dañado el monitor, but no, it's just a cable. Okay, let's see. Now we are business. Let's see who's next. Rita! Hello, Rita. I gotta see you like this because I just see half of you. Okay, teacher. Organize the deliveries. Okay, organize. Organ, organ, organize the deliveries. Uh, delivery the food to church. Okay. Order the package food. Decide or decide, I don't know, where the food is going to. And wait at, and measure the children. Okay, now. Deliver the food. Deliver the food. Deliver. The verb is to deliver. El verbo es deliver. Okay. Delivery is the service. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, a food package. The food package. And then, decide. Decide. Yes, decide. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see, let's see. Okay, now let's see. Carla, your turn. Press start the system. Okay. Sign in the account. Sign in. Sign in the account. Saw the weight of car. Perfect. Push grid button for start the scanning. Okay, great. Thank you, excellent. Now let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, your turn, please tell me. Uh, teacher. Yes, Wilfredo. I I give the my 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 uh, I I give instruction to Roxana. But okay, give me the we, we didn't finish. Okay, now you can tell I, me the instruction. Ah, okay. I tell her. I told her I that told her. the first step they they have to be in the world the worst place at 7 a.m. Okay. And she has to she has to give all uh, everybody alcohol. What? She has to oops creo que se le acabó. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana, your turn. I'm sorry Wilfredo, but you got Froze. Actually, I'm covering to Wilfredo. Okay, I'm covering uh, for Wilfredo. For Wilfredo. He told me that uh, stay at the office t t uh, 10 minutes before 7 a.m. Perfect. Put on the alcohol gel to, the, to everybody. Alcohol. Go to the production. Alcohol. Yes. Go to the production floor and check the attendant to everybody. Okay. If, 
if you need to cover another place, need to decide at the morning to move to move them. Okay. When okay. you finish all process, have to do a report to the previous day. And then send the email to the boss. Okay. A report from the previous day. From okay. the previous day. Thank you. Fausto, where are you, my friend? Oh, there you go. Please, Fausto, give me the instructions. Okay, teacher. Uh, go to the office. Uh, clean the desk. Okay, cool. To on the computer. Uh, review the mail. And request the mail. Answer the phone. Uh, close the ticket. And finally, send the report of the day. Okay. The daily report. Day. Daily. Day of the daily, daily report. report. Okay. Daily report. El Thank you very much, Fausto. Elvia. Preparing invoice. Okay. May payment. Oh. Card cool. the client. May report availability. Availability. Ava availability. Yes. Uh, schedule customer visit. Schedule. Schedule. Like that. Custom. Perfect. Schedule customers. Visit. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Let's see. I still got time for some of you. Todavía tengo tiempo para algunos. Fernando, Fernando Gonzalez, please. Okay, describe my my day. <laughs> okay, please. Um first go to the office. Uh follow biosafety regulation. Okay. Um clean my clean my desk. Right. Turn on the computer. Um, review the email. If there are, if there are any problem, to solve the problem. Replay the email. Close the ticket. Do it as many times as necessary. Okay. Finally, send the daily report and go home. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra. My activity is I am, I am a home office. Okay. And, and I work in an insurance company. And going on time, uh, check the tray or platform and say bandeja. The tray, the tray. Check the tray, read the email, read the chat in Telegram, answer the calls, uh, send the case in the platform or the platform. Tray. Platform. Yeah. Platform. Uh, give an answer in less than 20 minutes, but case. Uh, check the forward up completely and the price of the car. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. I still got a few minutes. Walter, your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, my word uh, position is assistant. Uh, to this to department design. Okay. Um, to department design. 
uh, we design and, and clutter um, for different clients. Okay. Uh, and review and make and replay do and do manager plans. Perfect. And report and report delivery uh, to my boys. Okay. Uh, inventory of what has been. Okay. Uh, do inventory. Do inventory. Uh, okay. Do inventory. Uh, and, and, and every day. Um, how do you say registro? Teacher? Register, register, uh, register, uh, register all the people uh, or requesting uh, information, request, uh, request information uh, about, uh, about the claims. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see, guys. I'm sorry if I'm missing someone. Perdón si me falta alguien, but due to time, I need to to, to wrap up. Let's see, I guess up to now we understand what are the, the imperatives, right? Imperatives are instructions, orders, suggestions, okay? How do we use them? Easy, easy, cheesy. Remember guys, and I repeat. Teacher. Yes, mister? Yes, I have a question. When okay. When you are going, when you are going to use uh, imperative action, you only say in the from the beginning. Uh, for example, uh, please, I need to that you do tomorrow these activities, and you start to to mention yes, one by one. Yes, starting with the verb. You don't need to be saying you again. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Remember, imperatives also you find them in signs. También nos encontramos en, en avisos. Like, don't step on the grass. No se pare en la grama. Or like, uh, close the door. Turn off the lights. A veces hay señales que nos dicen turn off the lights. Those instructions are also imperatives. And all the time, there's no need to place a subject because everybody understands that the subject is always, all the time, is you. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Like when you when you read uh, the instructions, como cuando leemos las instrucciones, we understand that they are talking to us. Entendemos que es con nosotros, ¿verdad? But yeah. they are, they start just with the verb, pero comienzan solo con el verbo. I'll give you one very simple example, and this just one word, y es solamente una palabra. Push and pull. Lo hemos visto, ¿verdad? En las puertas. Yeah. Push and pull. And In we understand it with us. Yeah. And we understand it with us, right? There's no need of the subject. You understand that it's saying, you push or you pull. Of course, when we are speaking with a person, if we want to make it more polite, we say, please, please open the door. Please do this, please do that, okay? Please send me the report, just like that. Right? Questions? Preguntas? No? Oh, thank Perfect. you. No, thanks to you guys. It's always good when you ask me. Siempre bueno cuando me preguntan. Teacher. Yes. What do you say alcaldía in English? How do you say? How do you How say? How do you say? City hall. Like this. City hall. Sitting hall. City hall. Look in the chat. Then the chat. City hall. City hall. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Rita. Okay, guys. I need to take the attendance one last time. Please. 
Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Ambar, where's Ambar? Sorry, perdón. Ok. Ambar is here. Andrea Beatriz Renderos, absent. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present, teacher. Thank you, mister. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present, teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Here. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ok. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's wrap it up. Uh, guys, I need you to please do exercise, check out exercise four and five from the from the manual, it's in page number 14. Page 14, exercise five, okay? Page 14, exercise five, that's like a homework for you. I need you to do this exercise. I'm going to show it to you right now. Here, what are you going to do? Put the verbs in order, okay? Look at the diagram of how this chocolate product is made label each step in order using the words in the diagram okay we have separate check label assemble form mix ground we need to place them here in order okay that's for tomorrow we are going to start the class with this exercise okay teacher. okay and that's uh, that's your homework remember also that uh, Starting tomorrow, comenzando mañana, we are, I am going to place also under the, the video conferences. One question for you to answer. Le voy a ir poniendo una pregunta para contestar. Se recuerdan que de abajo de la, en la plataforma, abajo de cada video nos aparece el foro. I'm going to be placing there some exercises. Comenzando mañana, ok? So, be okay. sure to check them out. Those are exercises and I also check out how you type, ok? Thank okay. you very much. See, it's time. Okay. Yes, it's time for you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good okay. night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ambar, hello. How are you, my dear? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm good. I'm tired. Good? <laughs> okay, why? Yes. A long day. A long day and it's so hot. It's... Yeah, I know. The weather is terrible. Yes, it's a terrible weather. Yeah, I can understand that. So let's see, Amber, tell me, how can I help you? Do you have uh, any question, a specific area that 
You would like me to help you? ¿Hay algún tema o una área específica en la que le gustaría que le ayudara? Hello. Amber, you got frozen. Se me congeló. Hello. Hello, no sé qué pasa. Es que creo. You are getting frozen. Es la señal. Me, me está fallando. Yes. ¿Por qué no lo yes. yes, because uh, I mean. I can hear you, but a little bit cut. Yes, um, I think that my signal internet is bad. Yeah, my internet signal or my internet connection. My internet connection. My in, internet, internet connection. Yes. Okay. Okay, so tell me, Amber, how can I help you? Do you need well, a kid with an specific topic, perhaps? Uh, in my case, the most difficult is the past tense. The past tense, yeah, I was yes. listening to that. Well, with the past tense, well, you know, the difficulty is in just in the affirmative. The difficulty is in the affirmative. Because for the negative and interrogative, no it's the base form. We use the auxiliary and the base front. Okay. Yes. For the affirmative, I'm so sorry to say this, but you have to memorize. For el afirmativo, I can memorize. That's the only option. But what can help you to memorize? ¿Qué le puede ayudar a memorizar? First off, uh, don't try to memorize a full list of verbs. Nunca trate de agarrar una lista de verbos. Mm -hmm. complex and you get tired and you get bored because you keep busy all day long you know what you can do identify uh, some verbs that you use a lot and try to get a uh, like daily at least two of them a menos dos de ellos Okay, mm -hmm. choose those verbs, like daily you get like practicing like, uh, okay, send emails. Do you send emails? Yes. Okay. Send. I sent emails yesterday. Remember, I sent emails yesterday and practice it. That's a regular activity for you. Reply. Reply. I replied emails yesterday, last week. I checked. Or you can also use verbs from your house, like I cooked. Right? Yes. Or I slept. Focus first on the ver on the most common verbs that you use on a daily basis. Enfóquese primero en verbos comunes que se utiliza a diario. Okay? Because those are easier. Why are they easier? ¿Por qué son más fáciles? Because are normal activities for you. Son actividades comunes y corrientes para usted. Those are activities that you develop every day. Sería como el vocabulario cotidiano. Yes, exactly. That's what I mean. Uh -huh. Then, eh, do you like music? Yes. Okay. Watch a video of a song that you like. Look for the lyrics in English. Yes. And On Spotify. And start, and start identifying the words. That is the verbs in past that you can identify. The verbos en pasado que ya identifica. When your ear recognizes them, cuando su oído lo vaya reconociendo, it's going to become easier for you to apply them. Si su oído lo reconoce, y usted ya entendió qué significa ese verbo, I mean, when let you feel it, you are going to be using it. Cuando menos lo sienta, ya lo va a estar usando. Okay. Because 
that's normal that we acquire vocabulary through reading. I mean, always, all the time, todo el tiempo. We understand more through reading. Entendemos más. Okay. Leemos más de lo que escribimos. Uh -huh. Usted entiende más de lo que lee que de lo que habla. Y de sí. lo que escucha. And that's normal. Because in that case, I mean, our biggest fear is the pronunciation, right? But for us, reading is easier. But when you make that relationship between what you read and what you hear, I mean, you won't perceive when you start using them. In past. So that exercise could be helpful for you. Yes, and on Spotify, for example, the songs have uh, subtitles. But in English, remember, never look for titles in Spanish. Nunca me yes. en español, just in English. In English. In English. Okay, perfect. And you don't need to be pronouncing. No necesito estarlo pronunciando. Listen and read. Listen and read. That's the first step. Este es el primer paso. When you are able to recognize what you listen to, what you read, then you can start producing. Cuando yo identifique el sonido bien, Okay, like okay. listen once, listen twice, listen three times, and then start pronouncing. Because if you start trying to pronounce the very first time, the problem is that uh, it's going to be frustrating. Porque ya no lo alcanzamos, nos trabamos en una palabra y nos quedamos, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, no, what you need to do is that your ear identifies what you are reading. Cuando su oído identifique claramente lo que usted está leyendo, you are going to be able to produce faster. And don't worry that the very first time you are going to still stumble with some words. No te preocupes, en inicio igual no vamos a trabajar en una palabra. That's normal. Remember, you are learning. Yes. So, I mean, what you just need to do is keep on practicing and keep on practicing. And that's going to help you with the verb. And at the same time, you're listening, you're reading, and you're speaking. Sí. I don't know if I was helpful with you. No sé si le pude ayuda. Sí, sí, claro que sí. Eh, ya es una idea buena para para poder empezar a, a, a aprender mejor y porque a veces uno como que se enfoca en acaparar demasiada información y al hacer eso realmente no se aprende nada, mejor ir de poco a poco y con lo que más, digamos, uno usa a diario. Yeah, of course, look, you work. Besides that, you have your housework. Se trabaja, aparte tiene el trabajo de su casa. Sí. Then you have classes. Luego tiene clases. I mean, you have a lot to do. Tiene mucha carga. If you can dedicate 10 minutes during the day, 10 minutes maximum. Aparte de eso, 10 minutes maximum. That's it. No more. Relax. And that, that's why I tell you music, because music, we usually use it to relax. Estamos la música para relajarnos. Right? Yes. That's something that can relax you. Look for something that you like. That way you can relax and you can be learning. But the exercise, no more than 10 minutes. No más de 10 minutos. Because besides this, you need to get into the platform and solve the exercise. Aparte de eso, necesita meterse la plataforma y resolver el ejercicio. Sí, sí. So, don't overdo it. No se presione demasiado. It's going to become frustrating. Not because you don't have the, the, the ability or, or the capability. No porque usted no tenga la habilidad o capacidad. It's because it's just too much. Es bastante carga. Demasiada carga, okay? So, don't overdo it. Take it easy and slowly, okay? Slowly you will get to it. 
poco a poco. Poco a poco, ¿vale? sí. Bueno, okay. eh, yes, thank you, teacher. No, thank thanks you. to you for staying here with me. Gracias por hacerme compañía. Otherwise, I will stay here alone. Si no, me toca quedarme solo. <laughs> okay. Well, It was a pleasure, Ambar. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Good night, too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see, and this was our class from today, the third class. And this class has finished, so let's end it up right now.